what is up and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking i'm truly grateful if you're new to this channel do me a favor subscribe to the channel so we can grow this channel together so guys today i'm in cf moto and right here behind me is a cf clc 450 cc sort of uh, scrambler cruiser motorcycle i'm just going to do a quick walk around for you so you can see what it looks like stay with me So let's start from the front like we usually do it's got this really wide handlebar stretching from here all the way there to give you some real control over this bike but when we look at the front it goes with classic sort of design language so you have round although they are led they are round turn signals really protruding out to give the bike a really because it's a thin bike but with it protruding out it gives it makes it feel quite wide and they've got 1989 here, maybe probably telling us that this design is from the 1980s and 1990s. And you have, although they are LED as well, but you have this round, rounded headlamp design with all sorts of functions. So I believe daytime running lights are hidden in there. You got your main headlamps there. Of course, you can mount aux lights if you need them. And then if you come down, you have this really portrait style radiator down there which is very quite wide as well so it's gonna give you some nice cooling for the engine for a 450 cc engine yeah it's about the right size of a radiator i'm not an engineer but it just tells me you gotta have a lot of water flowing through that which is good for the bike and it has this really nice wide front tire with some nice thread i really like the design of the thread and the mud guard is metal which is also supported by this metal here as well so looking really nice the front comes with a 130 90 rim 16 tire and it's rated 67 h so that's what you have for tires and here you have a very wide brake caliper with abs of course and you have some reflectors mounted on the front fork and you have J. Juan brake um, calipers. J. Juan is actually originally a Spanish brand which is a subsidiary of Brembo now I'm told and moving on to the side you have your radiator fill cap exposed here very easy to to deal with and there is this ignition i believe this is to lock the steering and down here like these type of bikes you have the ignition down here on the side and you have your uh, coolant here very exposed but kind of like protected by this side of the bike so even if the bike drops it's not gonna just snap it off and it's got this cut off here this opening so you can clearly see your levels which is really really nice with some bikes you really gotta struggle to see that and down here you have your foot peg and your brake paddle pushed forward of course it's a cruiser style bike so that's that's what it's supposed to be or where it's supposed to be you got your engine block so cf motorcycle 1989 like i already mentioned and you got your engine block in there for a 450 cc engine looks really beefy and you got your brake fluid reservoir for the rear brakes down there like on most bikes and you have your twin exhausts coming out this way so the twin exhausts from the engine are not coming through one exhaust but actually they meet somewhere in the middle there and then they separate again and come out of these two outlets so two mufflers for it that's really really good i'm sure it's going to sound really nice and you've got a rear foot peg for the rear passenger which is quite high up so the rear passenger's knees are going to be really high and you get some nice plastic here to as a design language and also to protect your thighs from heat or whatever and here in the back you got J. Juan single piston brake caliper with some smallish uh, brake discs with your ABS right there of course 
and very nice plastic design here but again the mud guard in the back is metal as well and we look back here you got your turn signals your number plate mounting area number plate light down here and your reflector here so that's really nice now let's go on to the side of the bike on the other side so this bike doesn't run on a chain it uses a belt so it's belt driven which is really nice maintenance is going to be very low you don't have to do the dirty work of trying to clean a chain that's really good i've never used a, a bike with a belt drive so if anyone has let us know what your experience is like versus a chain in terms of use and in terms of maintenance let us know in the comment section now coming on to the side we have your um your gear lever here very nice very solid feeling in your foot peg and then you have some nice decals yeah you have some nice gray decals but then you have a two-tone paint you have the red this lovely red and you also have this gray here and a dark gray as a decal overall really really nice but the pillion seat is very very tiny so i believe it's not for long journeys especially for the pillion but the tank is quite wide if this is all going to contain fuel then i believe you can go quite a long distance on this bike it's very unusual for these sort of bikes and then you have the rider seat which is relatively big but it's i believe it's going to do the job for the amount of time that you are expected to be on this bike and if we just go on to the control so you have your windshield your rear view mirrors mounted right on the end of the bar end so you have some nice grips here oh, it feels really really nice feels solid to the touch and grippy as well and it's of a good size as well and you got your controls for turn signals very tactile your horn right there your navigation buttons right here you got your flash the pass which doubles as your high beam and low beam you got your clutch lever very very soft very very soft like that on honda motorcycles i'm impressed i hope it's the final adjustment if it's a final adjustment then i'm impressed it's going to be easy to really ride this bike and on the right side you got basically the same the same design language as on all on almost all cf moto motorcycles so you have the hazard light you have your push to start button start stop button you got your front brake which pulls feels really really good and you got your right rear view mirror it doesn't have any radar sensor or anything like that it's just rounded mirrors and you also have a rounded um, instrument cluster so yeah everything is rounded on this bike it's just taking that design language uh, all around the bike everything you look everywhere you look they try as much as possible to make everything around it so that's really really nice and this screen is of a very nice size uh, so the distance between you and the rider considering the distance between the rider and the instrument cluster it should be enough to give all the information you need and to be able to read it uh, easily and clearly yeah so that's 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 a really really nice bike i'm really liking it I like the wide handlebars, really, really wide. Makes it look really, really comfortable to ride. All right, that's it guys for the CLC from CF Moto, a 400cc motorcycle, a cruiser style motorcycle. I hope you like it and I hope you liked the video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to support this channel by subscribing to the channel so we can grow it together. Once again, thank you so much guys. See you in the next one. Peace out.